Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale Gunderson Multimax Auto Rack from Atlas. My car is decorated for Canadian National with TTGX reporting marks. The MSRP for this car is $99.95. I paid $84.88 for my car at modeltrainstuff.com. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car comes in a two-piece cardboard box with a clear plastic window on top. Inside the box, a two-piece plastic cradle protects the model. There are no instructions or drawings, but there is some paperwork with warranty information in the bottom of the box. This is a good box that should protect the model for storage and transport. According to the information printed on the box, Gunderson Multimax Auto Racks were introduced in 2013. These cars can be compatible with bi-level or tri-level service without having to add or remove decks. Nearly 10,000 cars are in service across North America. I found a photo of the real TTGX 695-787 online, and other than the fact that the real car is tagged, the model appears to be a close match. The paint on the model is opaque and thin enough not to obscure detail. The markings are crisp and free of voids, and the tiny writing on the various stencils on the sills and the end doors is legible with magnification. The detail on the car is excellent. The side panels are not photo etched, but the holes in them are too small to provide much of a see-through effect anyway. The side ladders are separately applied parts and the end grabs are freestanding. The B end has a nicely done brake ratchet. On the ends, the car has uncoupling levers and air hoses. The end doors don't open. The rods on the doors are molded on, but the paint treatment makes them look like separate parts. Up top, the car has nice rivet detail and corrugations. Underneath, the car has a lot of freestanding brake detail that is visible when the car is on the track. The thin plastic brake rod that runs along one side of the center sill is badly warped on my car. This wouldn't be too noticeable when the car is on the rails, but at this price I think it could be better, so I'm taking 5 points. I'd rather see a metal rod here. The car has accurate low-profile trucks with 28-inch wheels. The metal wheel sets are insulated on one side. Unfortunately, the airline details under the draft gear box are in the way of the coupler screw, so if you wanted to change the couplers, it might be difficult. Unlike other recent Atlas offerings, this car has long shank metal couplers that look to be KD-156s. The coupler on the A end is low, so I'm taking 5 points. The coupler on the B end is at the correct height. All the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. There is no significant body wobble. The car weighs 7.7 .7 ounces. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is around 7 ounces even. A little extra weight should help the car to track better. The car is very free rolling. The A end coupler was low, so let's see if we can raise it. I'll start by removing the truck. Since the coupler was fairly low, I'm going to try a KD red washer, which is 15 thousandths thick. Now it looks good. I'll check the B end again just to make sure it didn't change while I was fixing the A end. Unfortunately, now it looks a hair low. Raising or lowering one end of a car with washers can sometimes have the opposite effect on the other end. I'll try a gray washer on the B end, which is 10 thousandths thick. Now the B end looks good, but the A end is low again. I'll swap the single red washer and the AN for two gray ones. Now the AN looks good. And the BN looks good too. Sometimes it takes a little trial and error to get it right. When tightening the trucks, I want to make sure to restore the three-point suspension that the car had to keep it from wobbling. One truck needs to be tight enough so that it pivots but won't rock side to side. The other needs to be looser so that the car can roll over an even track. This car is now ready for service. I like to mark cars that I've already worked on with a dot of green paint somewhere on the bottom. Let's see what we've got. The brake detail could be better for this price, so I took 5 points in the paint and detail category. The car had one low coupler, so I took 5 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with 90 out of 100 possible points, which would be an A- on a report card. This is a nice model and it deserves a green signal. I think Atlas did a really nice job on this car. If you're looking for a modern era auto rack for your railroad and you don't mind the price tag, then I think you might like it.